Hello and happy Friday to you. We have a very exciting Friday with the planned day. If you are new to our channel on Fridays, we have our little vlogs that we like to do for our subscribers. And a lot of times we go shopping, but today we are going to be at home because I was busy cleaning up the kitchen and organizing a bit. And I realized, wow, if I was a millennial, I would have filmed all that, but no, I didn't. <laughs> But I did notice as I was cleaning up that I have a ton of Ikea products in my kitchen that I just really use all the time and I really love. So I thought today I just kind of give you a kitchen tour. I'm going to show you what I really love from Ikea that's literally in my kitchen that I'm actually using. I thought maybe that would be really fun. And then at the end, we always share a fun little downloadable free PDF and it's just what we're going to be up to over the weekend. But uh, I've got some great products. I think you guys are gonna be shocked. I was shocked by how many Ikea products I have in my kitchen. Some of them might even be older than some of you. <laughs> okay, maybe not, but close to it. We just love Ikea. So even, I work as a, as a designer, if you're just tuning in for the first time, and most designers are like, ugh, Ikea. And I'm like, Ikea! Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I say, Ikea. <laughs> Jack's holding the camera because we're going to go vlog style. We're going to go around the kitchen today. So I hope you hit subscribe, hang out with us a bit more, and uh, let's jump into today's tour, shall we? Because it's going to be awesome and fully packed. I'm like, how am I going to get through all these items? We're literally going to open the drawers. I think you're going to love it. Okay, so let's start over here, shall we? We're, we're starting here. Oh, okay. Cool. Can you see what's in there? Yep, I see what's in there. Okay, so one of my first things that I've got is this really awesome tray. I've got it sitting here because it adds a little wood element to the kitchen, kind of warms it up. It's one of those, you know, decorating terms that we use a lot. It's just got that wood and it just it makes the space feel warmer. I don't know why wood does that. It just does, but it's really nice actually because it also hides the cords. Yes. I can't remember all the nod. I'm not gonna remember all the names of these things, but I will link all of them down below. Okay, so I really love this, not only because it adds, you know, texture and warmth, but it's actually really practical because if we're gonna be sitting outside because the weather's finally cooling off here in Atlanta and it's not sweltering outside and we actually wanna go outside, this is really great to like put drinks on it or if we're gonna take stuff to the table, it's great. Uh, then I also have the uh, candle going here. I love Ikea candles. They're just really nice. This one came in that really pretty stoneware and I just thought that it was really pretty. And right now, my kitchen smells amazing. There is actually one other reason why it smells so good. Come this way. What's making the kitchen really smell good is the Ikea cinnamon rolls. <laughs> now I know you do have to go to the store to get these. So these actually come from the little food shop that they have at the store, but they do make it smell good. And one of my other Ikea finds is the little gray, almost kind of taupe plate that they're sitting on. And that is actually one of my favorite finds. I love their little plates. For a little while, I kind of fallen off of the plates and things at Ikea because I had one set that chipped. But this set has been amazing. I think this is the oldest item that I have from Ikea in my kitchen. I've got a kid that is younger than these, okay? <laughs> he just turned 14. These are my favorite item from Ikea. I love their baking sheets. These, these are seasoned. Well seasoned. Very well seasoned. And uh, actually, I loved these so much. The newer version is like this that they sell in the US now. These were perfect because when we were living in Europe, this was the only thing that could fit into the tiny little ovens that they had over there, one at a time. And now, you know, the American ovens are a lot bigger. So we went, we use these literally all the time. So you can see they are red on the back and very seasoned on the front. They come looking prettier than this. But you know, we've used them and enjoyed them and they are actually, they are literally the thing that we use all the time. We use them almost every single day. Yeah, I don't, we, this is like the thing we yeah. use. Yeah, we love them. So, all right, come this way, I got more stuff. Okay, are you guys ready for this? Let's open the drawer. 
I wanted to take just a moment and thank our video sponsor for today, which is HelloFresh. As you guys know, we've been using HelloFresh for years. We absolutely love it. I love the fact that they literally deliver fresh ingredients and uh, the recipes that go with them with everything pre-measured right to my door. It is a huge time saver. I'm working from home. I don't have time to make a big meal for lunch, but HelloFresh also offers recipes that take 10 minutes to assemble. So today I'm actually going to be making the bulgogi pulled pork wraps. Isn't that awesome? Then for dinner, I'm going to be making the roasted garlic and zucchini flatbreads. I may also make the Southwest shrimp tacos. So as you can see, everything comes proportioned, comes in the bags. So when I'm ready, I just pull out the bag and the recipe card to go with it. I'm telling you, this is a lifesaver. So I'm gonna get started. I've got my tortillas, my slaw. Ooh, peach jam. This is gonna be awesome. Kids are gonna love this. And then I just stick this the little bag in the sink and use it as my little trash bag. The box recycle. I also love the fact that there's very low waste involved with HelloFresh. It's awesome. Look at that. I mean, that is amazing. Are you just so excited to try this with me? I'm excited. Okay, so of course HelloFresh is amazing because they always give me a discount code. So go to HelloFresh.com and use the code Valentina65 for 65% off plus free shipping. So make sure you check out all the details down below because I think you're going to absolutely love this whether you're making lunch or you're making dinner. HelloFresh really does hook us up and we just love it. So you ready to try this? Yeah. Mmm. It's really good. That is awesome. Are you kidding? That's amazing. Oh, it did not look like this <laughs> this morning. I should have shown you how I organized this. I kind of feel bad. That would have been a great video. <laughs> I know when you're done. I'm going to give it like a week and then we'll just do that video because my kids and this one holding the camera just throws everything in here and I'm like, no. It goes all neatly in here, but for now, I do have some amazing products in here. We have owned these little uh, kitchen tongs for a long time. I don't even remember. Like we've had them so long. They've been in Morocco. We lived in. We lived overseas for 12 years. I should mention that in case anybody's new to the channel. But we lived in Morocco, Spain, and Denmark, and these little babies have been to all of those places. So that's a good find. Uh, then. I don't think this is Ikea. Oh yeah, you know what? This goes, you know, they don't always sell the same stuff now. So I don't know if it comes as a set anymore, but when we first moved overseas and we had sold everything we owned, we were literally starting over. And so we went to Ikea and bought the little set. These are, these have been amazing. We've had them for like 10 years. Yeah. We've yes. served so many vegetable bowls of vegetable soup with that thing. It's and... just the most basic set. Yeah. It but works. It, it just works. I think their stainless items are just the best. They really do a good job with that. Uh, then uh, Jack snuck these in. <laughs> if you guys watch our channel, gosh, a few, a few Fridays ago, we yeah. went to Ikea and Jack was like, oh, I thought I was supposed to buy those. And I was like, I was going to put them back. I haven't used them. I don't even know what they're for. They're for icing cakes. Oh, we don't do a lot of that. No, we don't ice. I don't. I don't ice cakes generally. Like I don't, we don't eat a lot of icing. No, it's the person at Whole Foods does that. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Actually, I do sometimes bake, but I don't tend to make icing. Not icing. Yeah. Um, so what else do I have in here? Oh, yeah. I did buy the new pizza cutter, and we have been really enjoying that. That's that was a good find. Uh, oh, the melon baller. <laughs> Did you use it? Uh, not really. Uh, okay. <laughs> but it does look very cute, all neatly stacked in here. Yes, it does. Uh, what else do we have from Ikea in here? You know what I used to have from Ikea that I don't have anymore are actually the spice jars. You did for a long time. I had them for like literally 15 years. I had them forever. But they changed the way, they changed the style of them. Oh. And then during the pandemic, they didn't have any more of them. And so those are actually from Amazon, 
I could actually do one of these for Amazon too. You really could. Uh, the one thing that is actually in the drawer that you probably didn't even notice, come back over and I'll show you. The one thing that you didn't notice that is one of the best finds at Ikea is actually the organizer. Oh, duh, I looked right over it. Yeah, these actually fit perfectly in here and these are from Ikea. So that is one of the best kitchen finds is the drawer organizers. I've got another one of those drawer organizers here. So this is the part where I will say... I think we have an issue. What? I think we love silverware. <laughs> and glassware. Let's open this drawer and let's see. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, do you want a spoon from here? <laughs> I from do. There. I like variety. I'm sorry, what color do you want? Or maybe you want one of these. <laughs> I like variety. We I think it's serve nice. A lot of salads. Yeah. <laughs> we both love those things. I know. I think all of this is Amazon in here. I did get the knife sharpener. Never used it. Never used it. I haven't used but it yet. I feel yet. better about myself by having it. I know. I feel like I'm an adult because I have a knife sharpener. <laughs> My knife feels sharper when I'm just having that in the drawer. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. I don't think so either. But I did buy the Amazon one for this. Maybe I'll link up the Amazon one as well for you guys. Cause yeah, I think that'd be fun. I think we'll do an, a full Amazon video because yeah. like a lot of this cool stuff in here right now is actually Amazon finds. Um, so maybe we'll do another one of those. But I did the expandable one for over here instead of the Ikea one. This one's fine because I just put some things and some of the stuff's in the dishwasher. We have more uh, scissors that are normally in and here. And it does actually look custom because you do have a gap. And for a lot of people, right. that would be... And these are the same color wood. So, yeah, But nice. this one is actually from Amazon, and it expanded. That one's I awesome. sounded really Southern when I said that. I was like, expanded. it expanded. <laughs> I am born and raised in the South. <laughs> I occasionally do have a Southern Ex accent. Expanded. <laughs> like my waistline at Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I do have a lot of Ikea stuff in here, and I think that the drawer organizers are one of their best I agree. best things that they have one of my favorite things one of my favorite favorite things we have a lot of pyrex yeah come on oh, come on there. you know you want to see um and so a lot of these are in the fridge right now a lot of great. these are in the fridge and we really really use this because i don't like to use baggies so much i'd rather use glass to store and then to me it actually makes sense because you can serve in it you can put it in the refrigerator and if you need to reheat it it could either go in the oven or it could go in the microwave, so. You know why I like it? Why? Because when we used to do plastic, nothing would ever get reheated because kids could never find it. Or you. Or dad <laughs> could never find it. Yeah. Dad. Or husbands. But by putting it in those, like anytime we have enchiladas, Landon knows exactly where to go. Yeah, but if it's that's in plastic, true. in his mind, it doesn't exist. Yeah, it's true. Because you can't see it. You mean yeah. the plastic ones that you yeah, can't see into. Yeah, the plastic ones you can't see into. Yeah, yeah. So I do love these. Um, I did oh, this buy them. No, uh, that you, you won't let me finish my sentence. I'm about you, this. you keep interrupting. I love the Pyrex, and we've had that for a while. I got this at a Crate and Barrel, and I actually got these off of Amazon. See, this is gonna, this is not, this is not working. I know. <laughs> I can't stop talking about the other stuff. My favorite IKEA find. Uh, this has been life altering. These are our Amazing. absolute favorite. They come. With the, I think they actually have the ones with the lids that you can like do that little, that pop thing that down. Pop thing. But I really love that. Did you did hear, you hear that? that? Yeah. That. <laughs> it's like so satisfying. Let's do it again. It? Well, then it's like it's suction. So they actually work. Oh my god. Ready? No giggling. Okay. <laughs> that was the sound of satisfaction. It actually does what it's supposed to do. Yeah, it it's actually really, really good. So we've been using them for food storage, but when I got all like hyper about cleaning out my kitchen this morning, then I decided when I opened the freezer and I was like, huh, I decided to do my freezer as well. So let me show you, I, I, we're gonna have to go back to Ikea because I'm gonna need more of these. Yeah. Because those are the most used ones that we have because they stack. You can literally stack them on top of each other. And they are amazing. I really, really love these. And if you see these at your store, you can buy them because we waited on the lids. A long time. Like yeah, it's been a couple for, of years. A few years they had the containers but no lids. Or 
Yeah, no, they didn't have the lids. Yeah, not at all. And for a while, they didn't have the containers. So if you can get your hands on them, just buy them. Just buy them. <laughs> yeah, just buy them. Okay. Are you ready? When I opened this earlier, Jack was like, oh. Even Landon was like, oh my gosh, I can find my stuff. Yeah. Guys, so this was a disaster about three hours ago. Yeah, I, you literally couldn't get in here. So are you going to come over and show yes. them? So uh, we... I've put everything, I've taken those jars or the little containers and I've put all of his snacks. Before it was just thrown everywhere. I don't know why. Because I'm bad at this, okay? <laughs> I'm just bad at showing my stuff. Like I was in my jammies and I had no makeup on. Like this was the perfect time to show you how bad this looked. I didn't even take a picture of it, but it looked bad. And it didn't take long. I ran to Whole Foods and just while I was out shopping, you redid the entire kitchen. Yeah, no, you don't have to have a lot of time. But I just didn't think to take even a picture. But you could barely even open this thing up. Yeah. But I think that these are perfect for storing oh, yeah. in the freezer as well for some of these items that you want to just have. The kids just keep going because we have older kids as well that drive. And they just keep going and buying more stuff. That one too, because nobody knows what's in there. Know what's in there. That's why we have so many too hard to see. We all buy them. I know, I know. They're gonna see that we have like unhealthy food. <laughs> we also have the a stash of the vegan hot dogs. Yes, we do. <laughs> from IKEA, and a stash of the vegan meatballs. <laughs> That's just a little extra. And actually, I'm storing those upright. And I'm like, why did I not do that before? But uh, yeah, there you go. Oh, oh, oh. These. My favorite. I love these. I love these. Yeah, Do I really, really love these measuring cups. I've always had the Pyrex ones that have all the red and all that, and <laughs> this is what I do, okay? Like, I, it's my job to make things aesthetically pleasing. So the red ones just were ugly. <laughs> and a lot of times they have handles that are really uncomfortable, you can't awkward. Stack, stack them. At yeah, all. so the big ones, they're like, these do not stack. I will say that, but right. I don't need them to stack because they're tall and they fit in the in here really, really nicely. So you can show them how pretty they are in here. Isn't that nice? Yeah, they look great. Now in this drawer, I have a couple little kind of hacks. Actually, my favorite. Oh no! I've had four favorites so far. <laughs> no, I've got some really good IKEA products, <laughs> but we really use these. And there's one more thing. Don't let me forget the one by the sink. Can't let you okay. leave without telling you that one. Right. Uh, my, literally one of my top IKEA products ever. Of all the things we've ever bought at IKEA, weirdly enough, these are one of my favorites. They're just the little washcloths that they sell. I think it's great that they have the little thing on there. So sometimes we'll put it on the little knob that we have by the sink, or if you had a hook, you can hook them on. I tend to put things like that away if I'm just being perfectly honest. But we've used these, wiped up all kinds of stuff with them. Like we just abuse them. They literally look brand new. Yeah, they do. And we have a stack in here. And these are the thing that I grab for. I don't know about you, but this is what I reach for every I use single time. All the time. This is my favorite thing. Yeah. I, I just love them. They're just a really good texture. They're really usable and I, I just love them. The other thing I have in here is actually this little plastic container. I can't remember what that thing is called. It's the Kugis. It's huh. the Kugis. I like to have stuff like this because I probably will actually, I'll show you in a minute. I got the wood ones. I may get a wood one next time. Okay. But I've always used these in like the bathroom because if you have like toothpaste or something that might spill, oh, yeah. you protect your it inside of your cabinet. So I've done the plastic for a really long time. I'll show you the wood one as well, but this is great. I've been using this thing for years. I have them all over the house. They're really nice if you've just got to store something in a drawer. It's just a really convenient little piece and they're like super cheap. They're, they're super inexpensive. I always buy also the little napkins. Oh, we stock up on napkins every time we go. I just if you guys they, have watched old videos, you've seen us buy these. I like the napkins. I I really love to buy from the kitchen section at IKEA, don't I? I think we need to make another trip there soon. This is I, you know that's what's gonna happen, right? Yeah. But this is this always spurs a visit to IKEA. Yes, it does. <laughs> because I'm like, let's go to IKEA. <laughs> 
But yeah, these are awesome. I love the napkins. I buy them in the little beverage. Oh, you just turn the oven on with your leg, with your butt. <laughs> I was like, what is that sound? <laughs> He's like looking out the window. I'm like, I'm like what? no, you just turn the oven on with your butt. <laughs> That's a well-trained right cheek is all I gotta say. <laughs> Can we get it to actually cook something? <laughs> Do you really want my right cheek cooking something? No, I don't even want your hands cooking something. <laughs> Are you ready for some pantry porn? I mean, oh just, just prepared yourself. I should have taken a picture. What is wrong with me? What did you do just somebody. And after? Whoosh, I, I don't know because I was in my pajamas and I'm like, no, nah, I'm in like mom mode. You were having fun. I was. I'm like, this is sick. No one should enjoy me. I was like, what? Organizing Why are you smiling, this you sicko? I know, I know, I'm nuts. I'm like, oh my God, what is wrong with me? But I really just love organizing, okay? So it's my backup career, okay? <laughs> but, oh! <laughs> it looks amazing, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Okay, so this morning there was like stuff shoved in oh, here. So like you many. couldn't open any of the drawers. Yeah, so you wanna know what my trick is to get rid of clutter First of all, don't buy too much stuff. Like that, that really is a big thing. Like yeah. don't buy so much that you can't actually put it all away. And then we have like up there, <laughs> yeah. that's like the chip, like this is the secret place. <laughs> I feel like this is like during the pandemic when we showed the toilet paper. Oh God, yes. Now you know where the toilet paper is stored and where the chip storage is. We do keep <laughs> chips just in case there's a shortage at yes. some point. Yes, well we our kids, they like to go to the store and you know, with them being a little bit older, they can go to the store and buy junk food. And so I put that up. <laughs> so yes. I'm encouraging them to eat what's down here. And what's funny is because she puts it up there, they go buy more because they don't realize it's all the way up there. Yeah, that's true. So we do actually have tortilla chips yes. down here. So yeah. I, I decant everything. And I love the glass jars. I didn't think I would like them. I'll be honest with you. When you first really? did this, I was like, what in the heck? We've been doing this for years. That's what a chip clip is for, baby. Oh, no, no, no. No, and now, because I was afraid they would go stale. Oh, not with these. Oh, no. that's a good point. I hadn't even thought about that. I was that. afraid they would go stale. I think they actually stay fresher in these, don't you? Yes, because none of us can find the chip clips that we buy. <laughs> I don't have chip clips anymore. Not I got rid of all of them. <laughs> but even when we had one, we'd have like... We wouldn't have enough. And yeah. With kids and especially. I do have chips. I've got those little popper things in here. Like we, you know, we don't only eat like as healthy as we should. We we have stuff in there. There's some bunions back there too. Bunions so or yeah, cheese? yeah. I put them in the back, so I'll encourage them to eat the things in the front. <laughs> and there's Cheerios, which Landon affectionately calls not honey nut Cheerios. He's yes. Like, well, so those, those are, are Haley's, so you can kind of see the kids' personalities. I like the crackers and the pretzels, but. Yeah, decanting. Oh, and then show my section. <laughs> oh, this is Jack's section. Jack has a thing for uh, nuts, because, you know, he's a little nut. Yeah. Look yeah. at this. Look. This is Jack's section, because if I don't blatantly put it out in his face, he just goes to the store and it gets goes, more. I see sesame chips in there. Sesame yes. Sticks. So that's like salad fixings, um, trail mixes. Jack's crackers, which are in his face in plain view. Yes. Uh, yeah, no, it's, we're having a bit of fun, but they, this is actually an we amazing do, way to well, store. Well, we do use all this stuff daily. When I feel like when I see it like this, then I'm like, oh, I gotta make this, you know, the little, um, what's this stuff called? It's like a, um, a lentil, lentils. A lentil. Yeah. And then I've got the muesli and all that kind of stuff. And then I have been guilty of buying too many olive oils oh, kind of it's kind of a weakness yeah, yeah we it is oils. we just went, like ordered a whole bunch of them off of amazon and they were just like oh well if one is good then you buy three of them exactly. <laughs> so that's why we do eat a lot of salads in our house and i do like the little containers but um i, I need to do an amazon one because like these are amazon finds yeah they're amazing that i just really really like um yeah and then down here <laughs> you want to see what's so pretty oh. oh this is amazing this this morning looked like the delivery truck threw up on it there yeah. was so much stuff in here yeah so i just took everything out and decanted it and put it all away and then it just looks a lot better so these are actually these are the ones that are from oh, ikea are, okay cool those are the ones that we bought when we took you guys to ikea i think like two times ago and I was like super excited about organizing my pantry. And you guys are like, you're crazy, but we love you because we get you. <laughs> That's what I heard. 
If that wasn't your comment, then just ignore me right now. <laughs> Saved the best for last. Yes. The absolute best for last. Or every single time they're like, I never in a million years. Even my mom the other day was here and she had used these. She, she came house, to stay. She house sat for us. Yeah. And she was like, where did you get those? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, they are the best. My regular subscribers are like, I know what's coming. I know what's coming. <laughs> Pause, write it in the comments. Let me know what you think I'm about to show you. Okay. All right. Are you guys ready? Okay. It had to have been <laughs> the idea sponges. I just love them. I just love them. And uh, yeah, Jack's mom, I've got her hooked on them. Uh, Cause she was like, where did you get those? And she was like, oh, I'm not gonna go to Ikea soon. And I was like, but wait. But wait, we have a stash. <laughs> Do you have more down there? You know it. Yeah. <laughs> Can I keep a stash? So I gave her a pack cause I had two, like, I literally had two extra packs. That's like, I keep them on hand. They are the best. They're just the best. I, my mother-in-law said so too. So one of the things that we like to do on our Fridays with B is give out a free PDF that just has our weekend tasks. It's just something fun that we do. It's a free download if you want it. You just look down in the show notes. You're gonna see all the items that we featured today listed down there as best as I can or alternates plus the little link for the PDF. And it's just something we like to give to, to you guys so that you'll know what we're up to. And um, I think it just reminds us that it's not just about decorating. I think that's why we just love it. We're like, oh, it's not just about decorating your space, but really that life that comes through, to me, that's what it's all about. That's what I take the most pleasure in a design that I've created, is seeing the families that I've created it for really enjoying it. So this weekend, Jack, what have we got on our list? Did, you, did they notice the brownies that were sitting out? I don't know, but I did. What? I did. What I do is I tend to leave things out on the counter that I'm gonna be thinking about. Um, so this is actually from the Baking Favorites. If you watched our video last week, you saw that we bought this baking cookbook. And so on my list is these s'mores brownies. I gotta make these this weekend. Those look incredible. Yeah. So the other thing, even though I've gotten a little bit of a head start that I think you should be working on, is just do a light little just a light little juge on your kitchen because we're getting ready to go into baking season. We're getting ready to go into the holidays. And I think now is the perfect time to actually, I think it's perfect time no matter what time of year it is. Yeah. Honestly, brownies and organizing your kitchen. I could do this every single week. Yeah, I, could I love it. I would also say open up your freezer <laughs> yeah. and just throw out food that is expired. That's what I did this morning. I just clean, I cleaned it out, scrubbed it down, Throughout food that was expired or had you know gotten frostbitten or was like weirdly open or something. And then I think that those little glass containers were amazing. So whether you use the glass ones or a plastic container, it's amazing to just organize your freezer as well. Um, what else? For the weekend? Yeah. Let's make a drink to go with that brownie. Oh, I love that idea. Can we make espresso martinis? Let's do that. I bought Jack these glasses. It's been a little while. Is it in the spring? I think so. Got these espresso, well, I was gonna say, these are espresso martini glasses. No, they're a martini glass, but we just like to make espresso martinis in them. And we just try different recipes off the internet for this, yeah, actually. So I think I'm definitely gonna be grabbing a brownie, a, some martini. What about some British Bake Off? Ooh, now you're <laughs> speaking my language. We just love watching it. Even in reruns, we go back and watch it again and again. Oh, so yeah. I think we'll put that on our agenda. What do you think? I think so. Okay, so there you go. We're gonna have everything linked up for you guys. And uh, we hope that you have a wonderful weekend, a wonderful day, whenever it is that you watch this video. And don't forget that we have a new fashion channel. I know a lot of you have been enjoying it, but if you wanna know where my fabulous sweater is from, <laughs> I'll link it down below in this one too. But seriously, check out the fashion channel because that is one of my favorite things that we now do on the weekends. And uh, we also do Amazon Live. So. We don't check out for the weekends. We are here for you guys and love to hang out with you on all of our different platforms. It's just a blast. We love you guys. Thank you so much for stopping in and we will see you in the next one. Bye.